Welcome to Sonic Wall Video Solutions. My name is Kritika Nakshatri. Today, we will demonstrate how to integrate LDAP or Active Directory with the Sonic Wall appliance. To integrate LDAP or Active Directory with the Sonic Wall appliance, we need to first configure the user authentication method on Sonic Wall to LDAP. We then configure the LDAP or Active Directory IP and authentication parameters. Finally, we test the connectivity between the Sonic Wall and the LDAP. Today, for demonstration, we are using a Sonic Wall NSA220 with the firmware version 5.9.0.3. Moving to the configuration, we need to go to the Users tab, Settings. User authentication method is currently set to local users. We need to set this to LDAP plus local users. Click on Configure LDAP. Name or IP address has to be the name or IP address of your Active Directory server. If you're using name, be sure that it can be resolved by your DNS server. For demonstration, we will be using a server with the IP 172.27.61.45. Port number is 389 by default. If you're using LDAP over TLS, then you may need to use the port number 636. Today we will be using 389. Server timeout is set to 10 seconds by default. This is the time for which the sonic wall waits for the LDAP response. Next will be the login credentials. Here, you can choose give login name or location entry. You can either use a built-in administrator account or a user account that's created on the Active Directory. Here for demonstration, I use a user account. If you're using LDAP over TLS, you'll need to use the checkbox Use TLS. If you're using the port number 389, make sure that Use TLS checkbox is unchecked. Next, go to the Directory tab. Here, you need to enter the domain name that's configured on your Active Directory server. Once you enter the domain name and go to user tree for login to server, click on OK. You'll see that the trees containing user group is automatically updated. You can click on auto configure, click on replace existing trees, click on OK. Once the configuration has been updated, under users and groups, select the default LDAP user group as trusted users, click on apply. This completes the LDAP integration. To check the communication between the Sonic Wall and the Active Directory, go to the tab Test, enter a username and password, click Test. You'll see the test status here and also all the groups that this user is a member of. Here, let me also show you the Active Directory setup. This is the Active Directory that we are using currently. So the domain that we have is soniclab.local. The user that I'm using for authentication is under users. This brings us to the end of this video on integrating LDAP or Active Directory with the Sonic Wall appliance. To learn more about Dell Sonic Wall security products, please visit sonicwall.com. For more video tutorials, visit dellsoftware.com slash support. I hope this has been informative and thank you for viewing.